well, Labour's agenda ruthless, but already falling apart. And I do feel that Keir Starmer's majority, the support for his party, has been built on pretty shaky ground. Uh, don't forget that in terms of the Labour vote share, they got about a third of the votes, but two thirds of the seats because of our ridiculous first past the post voting system. You've also seen Labour's membership actually sinking to a 10 year low. And we know from the research out there that Labour voters were much more motivated in terms of kicking the Tories out than voting for Labour's policies. You have already seen a pretty significant drop in support. Uh, Opinion had this data showing that Starmer's uh, net approval ratings down 26 points since his first approval rating as Prime Minister. And in terms of the Labour agenda, well, it's become pretty clear already they're looking at potentially free movement returning to some degree. Labour used to talk about uh, the fully costed plan they had to freeze energy bills. Uh, Well, guess what's happened? Of course, Ofgem, uh, the price cap being risen and people calling out how embarrassing really that is for Labour. And of course, no matter what they say, we know under a Labour government, taxes are going to go up. But in terms of being ruthless, what's going on with the civil service, I think, really does show you a Labour Party being more ruthless in power than the Conservatives were. And, you know, I personally think the idea of civil service impartiality is as laughable as claims that the BBC uh, is impartial. I mean, it's it doesn't stand up to any sort of scrutiny. Just to give you a few examples of why someone like me uh, holds the idea that the civil service is neutral as basically a joke, I could pull out many more examples than this, but just to give you a flavour, you know, Home Office staff threatening a mutiny over the Rwanda policy, an anonymous civil servant writing that any suggestion migration would be reduced met with horror among staff at the Home Office, The then new Home Secretary, Suella Braveman, prompted consternation, according to the Observer, simply for suggesting that she wanted to actually stop the boats, uh, all the boats from crossing. You had the former Foreign Office chief uh, saying that he told colleagues that he voted to stay in the EU. Uh, Remainer civil servants were in tears over Brexit. I mean, it goes on and on and on. It's all one-way traffic. I actually think the idea of this whole impartial Uh, civil service is as big of a joke, as I said, as the supposedly impartial BBC. I think it'd be a lot more honest and actually better government, better governing of the country for uh, those in government to be able to appoint people who actually believe in their agenda, believe in their manifesto to actually implement it within the civil service rather than having this bizarre system where people are actually against the policies they're supposed to be implementing. However, that is supposed to be the system we have at the moment. And yet we have a situation where it was reported that a uh, Labour donor got a number 10 pass. This would be Sir Keir Starmer's biggest personal donor, according to the Times. That was then U-turned on, it seems. But when it comes to the civil service specifically, there has been absolute uproar at Labour being accused of destroying civil service impartiality. A third person with close links to the Labour Party appointed to become a senior civil servant. We saw a Labour donor uh, get a UK Treasury job. The accusation that a civil service watchdog was not told of a senior official's previous donations to the Labour Party when they were approved uh, for that appointment to a top Treasury role. It seems that Labour donor now abandoning that civil service uh, role. Uh, Another case A civil servant who started her career with Rachel Reeves went to work for an opposition, handed a significant Treasury promotion after Labour's election victory and people called him for an investigation into all of this. So as I said, a pretty ruthless, I think, uh, Labour agenda and one that clearly, I think, already is receiving quite the backlash. Do let me know what you make of all that in the comments below, though, please, guys. I will, of course, keep bringing you all the latest on this and much more. So please do at this video a quick thumbs up and, of course, as ever, Cheers for watching.